Welcome everyone, uh, compound inequalities. Before starting the compound inequalities, I want to show you some things. What is AND and what is OR for mathematics. Uh, we use this AND and OR for statements. So for AND, there will be two statements and both of them must be correct. Uh, so for OR, there will be two statements. If one of them correct, it's okay for us. So check it. Uh, Let's start with inequalities. If you talk about inequality, let's say x is greater than negative 2 and x is less than 7. So let's choose some number. I will start with negative 5. Is, let's check the negative 5. Is negative 5 uh, greater than negative 2? Wrong. It's false. You can say false either. Or is negative 5 less than 7 true so because of that this is false it's a wrong statement it's a false statement so this negative 5 is not element of the solution set let's choose another number 0 so this is not our element is 0 greater than negative 2 true is 0 less than 7 true so this is 0 is element of the these inequalities let's choose 1 is 1 uh, less than uh, greater than negative 2 true yes less than 7 yes so 1 is element of the this compound inequality solution set of the compound inequalities let's check in 10 let's check 10 is 10 greater than 2 true is 10 less than 7 false so and is not 10 is not our element so when we talk about this end statement, that means I need a number greater than negative 2 and I need a number that's less than 7. Let's see, a number line to negative 2 and 7. So which part is correct for both inequality? Only this part, as you see, these numbers between 2 and 7. So not include and 7 is not include so this is our solution set only that part is correct for this end statement when it ends so the numbers must be greater than negative 2 and less than 2 as you see all these numbers here greater than negative 2 and less than 7 let's come to R let's say x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than 7 this time I change the statement here be careful so let's choose some number let's choose minus 5 minus 5 is minus 5 less than neg uh, negative 2 yes this is true is minus 5 greater than 7 false so 1 true is enough for me if one of them true so all this number is this all statement is true for me so this negative 2 is an element of the solution set let's change the number let's say 1 is 1 less than negative 2 is 1 less than negative 2 no it's greater so that's a false statement if i choose 1 is 1 greater than 7 wrong this is false again I get two false, so that's not an element. Cancel it. Let's choose another number. Five. Is five less than negative two? False. Is five greater than seven? False. So five is not element. Let's continue with one more example. Ten. Is ten less than negative two? False. Is ten greater than seven? True. That's true. So ten is element of the uh, the solution set so let's draw it what is my point here my point is number is less than 2 or I need some numbers are greater than 7 so both of them can be correct if I choose any number here or I can choose any number here this will be true so 1 true is not for me for or so uh, statement for or so this side and this side can be solution on the number line Let's draw it. Negative 2 and 7. Okay. Negative 2 is not include. 
the left side is solution, 7 is not include, all the right side of the 7 is the solution set. That's the OR statement and end statement. You need to understand that one first. Let's continue with some examples. Here some things uh, for and we have extra you can write in one sentences like that one or like that one. I will show you on next example. The others or statements are same idea. Okay, there is a word problem. There is the iguana needs to live in a warm environment. So the temperature in a pet iguana's cage should be between 21 and 35 degrees inclusive. So write a compound in a college to represent the temperature within the recommended range. So what is my range? It can be 21 or greater than 21. So 21 the less one. So the temperature must be greater than it and it must be less than 35. So the temperature must be less than 35. To write a compound in equities, you can put this together. Why? 21 is less than temperature or equal. It can be cool because inclusive, so it can be cool. Or between 35 and 21. If it's end, actually we are searching some numbers between two different numbers. So we can write on one sentence like that. A number is greater than 21 and less than 35 for or you must use or all the time let's continue there are some end statement the solution is uh, similar to the inequalities but in that time as you see there are two side of the inequalities when you take away these two negative two negative two you need to take away from right side and the left side negative three and negative two will be negative five is less than 2 minus 2 is 0 on the x is here is less than 7 minus 2 is 5 so on the number line minus 5 5 not include not include connect this to that's the solution set I will draw only one of them uh, so you you know how to draw this uh, graph I think so you need to connect them with n 5 is less than 4x plus 1, so minus 1, minus 1, same idea, but this time I am taking away this minus 1 for all sides of the inequalities. So 4 is less than or equal 4x is less than or equal 12. Divided by 4, yeah, when you divide by 4, you must divide all sides of 4. And be careful, when you multiply or divide negative number, this inequality signs has to change. 4 divided by 4, 1 less than or equal x is less than or equal 3 so same idea it's between 1 and 3 on the number line equal so fill the circle and this side is the solution don't forget to fill the circle that's all let's see some uh, or examples there is as you see there are two different inequalities so you can solve it one by one minus 2 minus 2 x is less than minus 8 or plus 2 uh, sorry minus 2 again because that's plus 2 2 minus 2 will be 0 so x is greater than 4 let's on the show it on the number line x minus 8 so x is greater than 4 not include the right side not include the small side the x is less than negative 8 x is greater than 4 you choose any number here for example choose 3 3 is not less than negative 8 it's not less than it's not greater than 4 so these are cannot be on the solution set a member of the solution set okay let's continue one more example plus 1 plus 1 so r is less than 1 or plus 1 plus 1 r is greater than 5 that's uh, some example so this is the last things this kind of questions are good either write the compound inequalities by each graph so there are four different graphs as you see that's an or statement because I have two different uh, things so I need to use or this is first so what is here it's an empty so I need to use less than there is no or equal less than what zero I have some numbers these are my numbers x and my x is less than 0 here a 2 I have 2 and it's it filled so 
2 must be equal or greater y if you choose any number here 5 for example is greater than 2 I have a, a number x is greater than or equal to okay again an or statement as you see again an or statement so choose a number here this number is less than 0 x is less than 0 y as you see it's empty or choose a number here x x is greater than 5 x is greater than 5 that's an or oh here as you see only one line segment so we will write one inequalities y i will choose here a number x this x greater than negative 2 so negative 2 is less than this x it's empty so therefore i don't use equal x and this x is less than 1 so less than 1 you can say x is greater than negative 2 and x is less than 1 but for n statement we can use only one sentences here again here i will write an x as you see only one line uh, segment so line segment show us n statement okay this x is greater than minus 6 is greater than minus 6 my x is greater than minus 6 and it's less than or equal why it's oracle because this circle empty which number is it between 2 and 4 at the middle 3 so that's how we write compound inequalities by looking at the graph thanks for watching that's the end of